Okay, what is an electric current? Current is caused by a motion of electric charge. It is a source of magnetostatic field, which is what we will learn in chapter 7. What we learned so far is electrostatic. Electrostatic is a field produced by a static charge, which is the stationary charge. When the charge starts moving with a constant velocity, it will produce something we call as electric current. And this electric current can produce magnetostatic field. The definition of electric currents, it is actually a rate of movement of charge passing a given reference point or plane per second. Okay, by expressions, the current I is equal to dQ divided by dT and the unit is ampere. Let us introduce the current density J and the unit of current density is ampere per meter square. Let's say we have a surface. The surface has the area of S. So let's say this DS, a sample of surface, have the charge moving through it. And the moving charge is basically create electric currents. The magnitude of J is equal to DI over DS. Sample current to the sample of surface. Please remember this. So, if J is known, so we can find the current equal to the integration of J dot DS. The first type of current is what we call as a convection current. So the different kind of current density, like I mentioned, we have three, which is convection current density, next conduction current density, and lastly, displacement current density. So we will cover this, the first two part and the third part will be discussed in time varying field. So what is convection currents? Different from conduction currents, the convection current does not involve conductors and does not satisfy Ohm's law. That means convection current can propagate other than the conductor. Convection current occur when current flow through an insulating medium. Insulating medium is, for example, dielectrics. For example, the beam of electron in a vacuum tube. Or maybe your remote control. It has a beam of electron. So this is what we call a convection current. Let's say we have a cylinder. We have the current density J and the current is flowing through this surface, DS. And the length of the cylinder is DL. So by definition, the current equal to the integration of J dot DS 
where J is the current density and I is the convection current out of a surface S. Let's see a detailed analysis of a long cylinder of rho v in vacuum. So we have a vacuum, long cylinder. It has a rho v, which is charge density. So this is our axis, s, y, z. And we have a rho v inside the long cylinder. Let's take a sample of charge. Okay, we have a dy ds. This is a sample of charge. Okay, the sample of charge is equal to rho v dv. This is what you learned so far. Next, what happened when we apply the E field through the long cylinder? This is the external field. So when E field is excited, so the sample charge will move with a velocity of Uy in the direction of Y. Alright, from di equal to dq over dt and the dq equal to rho v dv divided by dt okay we can expand the dv into ds dy the volume equal to surface multiplied by the length so ds dy over dt Right, so dy over dt is basically the distance divided by time. Because this is the distance dy and we have the time. So dy over dt is equal to what we call as velocity. Uy. Which is meter per second. While we have rho v. And we change dy over dt into uy. So rho v ui ds. So the rho v ui is equal to jy. The current density. So in general, the convection current density j is equal to rho v u. The charge density with velocity u and the unit is ampere per meter square. We can say that charge in motion constitutes a current. Therefore, we don't care whether this region is vacuum, conductor or dielectric. Because inside a vacuum or dielectric, convection current can flow. Like I mentioned earlier, the electron beam. Therefore, it will not satisfy the Ohm's law.